here we have another application problem. There's a lot of things going on in this one, um, but I want you to see that, you know, no matter what, we're still just working with maximums and minimums. Okay, so here we have our original problem that says the monthly uh, revenue R achieved by selling X wristwatches is modeled by this function. The monthly cost C of selling X wristwatches is this function. Now our first question says, how many wristwatches must the firm sell to maximize revenue? And what is the maximum revenue? Well, here's our question. We're talking about maximizing revenue. Here's our revenue function. So this is the one we're dealing with. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that down here. Revenue in terms of x is 75x minus 0.2x squared. Now the only thing here um, is that this can trip you up a little bit because it's not in the proper order. Let's go ahead and rewrite that as negative 0.2x squared plus 75x. I can rewrite those as long as I keep those signs correct. Now, when they ask me to maximize the revenue, all we're doing is finding the maximum or the vertex for this quadratic function. So remember that we know that x equals negative b over 2a. So x will equal negative b, our b value here is 75, so that will be negative 75 over 2 times a, which is negative 0.2. So when we simplify that down, we should get 187.5. Now here's the interesting thing about doing application problems. They have to make sense. We really can't sell 187 and a half wristwatches. That doesn't make any sense. So we're actually going to round this up to 188 watches. Now the rest of it says what is the maximum revenue? Well, so what is the revenue when we sell 188 watches? We have our revenue function here. So we're just going to plug in that x value and solve. So that'll be negative 0.2 times 188 squared plus 75 times 188. And then when we plug that into our calculator, do the math on that, we should get 7,031.2. Now here again, this is an application problem, so it has to make sense. This is revenue, money. Money should be in to two decimal places because of it being dollars and cents. So I'm going to put a zero at the end, so we see $7,031.20. This would be our maximum revenue.